What's up Gas Mask Collectors, the Artillery Boy here, and today we're going to be doing a comparison video. Let's begin. These two are kind of very sim familiar, but which one's the French, which one's the Polish? Let's talk about the Polish MP5 and the French ARFA comparison video. Let's begin. Now, let's go talk about the, what the MP5 rolls look like. This will have like these six slit holes, including the center of it. In the back, we'll have the mask hole right here, right there. Now, mask hole, this thing is more of a licensed copy of the of what the mask I mentioned or will be bringing up. Just like the Serbian M M2 with the Egyptian copy. Yes, that Egyptian copy was the more of a licensed copy of the Serpent M2. Now let's begin the, the elephant in the room. Now let's go talk about the elephant in the room. Now, there are always listings on eBay showing this thing, and it says MP5, the Polish MP5. Now, gotta remember, the slit holes on there, and uh, there are stamps on there too. Let's look at the back. It will have a stamp right in there, and there's another dead giveaway to this. There's no mask pole on there. Let me go tell you the what the mask really is the name of. The mask name is actually from French, and it's actually named the ANP-VPF1 mask. This will actually will this thing will give you the clear dead giveaway, like this. That's the Polish MP5. This is a French, and it's actually shortly called ARFA. Let me show you another. I'll do uh, another comparison. How about this guy? Now, I like this thing, but is it a, this is a Soviet bayonet. Well, look at the clear dead giveaway, the, the whole circular round, the whole rounded piece. That is a Hungarian bayonet alongside with the Russian, well, Russian bayonet. Russian bayonet scabbard. Yeah, I kind of thought this was a transitional one until I just saw this thing here. And if you're actually noticing about it, you can't really unsee this. Now, don't go after these distributors, the guys who's selling these masks. They, I think they might just be confused by these two. Like, they saw like a video from weapons and stuff, and that's the MP5. So they decided to name this as MP5s. Actually, this is like another strange case of another mask. A, uh, interesting mask. Let me, uh, tell you that a little bit. Oh yes, you're talking about this. It actually is not a copy at all. As you know, the backstory behind this thing, that so Hungarian officers were sent to the USSR during in 1968 and through the 69. Now, at the, they actually were studying the mask at the time, so they decided to ultimately chose the PMG. They actually gave very much documents, advisors, and very much have a different molding. So, so many of the people, and I read the comment section, so I think that's mostly my kind of half-cooked ideas, thinking it might be a copy, but it turns out, well, uh, there will be another, a better review for this. But in a case of it, this is just a French mask being confused as a Polish mask. So, so that wraps up the comparison and the confusion of these two masks. If you enjoy the video, like the video. Even comment down below if I have anything, any more stuff to point out. Well, that wraps up of the French ANP VPF1 and the Polish MP5 comparison video. I'm Artillery Boy, and I'll see you guys next time.